thought I'd just do this as a funny little video. Uh, you can now get GP5 gas masks on Amazon Prime. So here you can see the stuff. I've blacked out all my address and that on there. But you can see it's actually Amazon wrappers. Amazon, 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 Amazon. Then what you get in the Amazon box is this. You get a little cardboard box like this that says original Soviet Russia and then space, 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 ACK to medium grey new. And then when you open this, you actually get the mask on the very top, I'm taking it all out. Then you get the filter at the bottom and the bag, with also with the sort of insert lenses. And I've put it all in the bag, so I'll show you what it's like in the bag. So this is the satchel you get. And I've put the outsert lenses tin in this section. Haven't bothered opening them. I've got a few spare ones of these anyway. You don't really need them on the Russian masks. They're built well enough that it's not necessary. Then you have at the top the two buttons. So what I've done is put the GP5 in there like that. Then I've got the filter at the bottom, which I won't use. If you haven't heard me previously talk about um, these masks, uh, you won't know this, but the filter contains asbestos. So, as a safety precaution, don't use the filter. It should, in theory, be quite safe, because it's only when they disintegrate that you can inhale the asbestos, but do you really want to risk it? So there we go, there's the GP5 mask. You can see it's absolutely coated in talc. Uh, like talcum powder stuff, there's some on the inside of those lenses but it is in fact a GP5 from Amazon Prime which I still find crazy uh, this particular one was 248 by the look of it on serial produced in 1984 size 2 don't know what the Y stands for next to it you see all the valves in very good condition on it and despite all the talc on the inside, if I just fold that back Despite all the talc on the inside, it's very, very clean. So I'm just going to wipe the talc off and then we'll test the mask. Well, that's the majority of the talc cleaned off the mask and I will now demonstrate putting it on. So here I have hanging the satchel off of me. So we get our gas warning, we unflick the uh, buttons at the top, put the mask on. I've got the filter on it, but it's a safe filter. And then, mask on. And I'm now fully protected from the gas. So, um, there we are. Now, just to prove that this is actually a new GP5, not my old one. There we go. There's the old GP5. There's my current one. This is actually, in fact, the brand new GP5 from Amazon, which I don't think I ever said. Um, so just demonstrate that again, if it wasn't all in three. Mask off into the satchel. It's actually harder to get this mask in the satchel than it is to get out of it, which is quite good in case of a gas attack, I suppose. So, just tuck the mask in the satchel. The satchel is designed to be tall, and obviously, the top of a GP5 folds in. I won't bother re buttoning it up now, but what you do is obviously release the satchel. Pull the mask out of the satchel. You stretch it over your head. Airtight seal. Now this one is a size 2 GP5, and I think my old GP5 is actually a size 3. Let me stop. Okay, yeah, this is a size 3 on the old one. This one's a size 2. So, um, this actually works tighter, I'd say it is a better seal on my face, a size 2 GP5. Obviously it does depend on your head measurements, but I imagine a um, size 2 or 3 would be good for most adults. So, as said, the GP5 from Amazon Prime, funnily enough. But, um, yeah, just don't use the original Russian filters, swap it out for um, a compatible filter that's modern and safe. And you've got yourself a cool mask for only about 14 or 15 pounds of next day delivery.